Good morning. Welcome to another edition of Take 5. And thank you for starting your week with me today. And we're in Exodus chapter 11. And I will tell you this is very difficult the next few days uh, because we're seeing God's judgment. And sometimes God's judgment can be really hard. We certainly don't want to come under it. All right, we want to be on the side of God's favor. Verse 1, Now the Lord had said to Moses, I will bring one more plague on Pharaoh and on Egypt. After that, he will let you go from here, and when he does, he will drive you out completely. Tell the people that men and women alike are to ask their neighbors for articles of silver and gold. The Lord made the Egyptians favorably disposed toward the people, and Moses himself was highly regarded in Egypt by Pharaoh's officials and by the people. Now, I'll just stop there for a minute. God's saying, look, you're getting ready to leave. So you want to leave with lots of stuff. So ask the people for stuff. And even though God had hardened Pharaoh's heart, he had actually softened the hearts of the people. And sometimes you see that where the leader's heart is hard, but the people's hearts are soft. And I won't get into specifics, but I think you know what I'm talking about there. Um, sometimes there's a difference between the way the people feel about somebody and the way the leaders feel about somebody. Um, and the people loved Moses, and they loved their the Jewish people, and they were willing to give them the silver and the gold and things they needed. Anyway, back to the text, verse 4. So Moses said, this is what the Lord says. About midnight, I will go throughout Egypt. Egypt. Every firstborn son in Egypt will die from the firstborn son of Pharaoh, who sits on the throne, to the firstborn son of the slave girl, who is at her hand mill, and all the firstborn of the cattle as well. Let's stop there. He's saying it's not going to matter. Uh, money's not going to save you. Your position's not going to save you. Uh, it's, it's not going to matter what you do. If you're in Egypt, you're going to suffer, and you're going to suffer in the most cruel way you can imagine. You're going to lose your firstborn son, and it's even going to apply to the animal kingdom. This is really, really tough, but this is God's judgment. God's judgment can be very, very tough. Verse 6, there will be loud wailing throughout Egypt, worse than there has ever been or ever will be again. But among the Israelites, now notice the difference here, but among the Israelites, not a dog will bark at any man or animal. He's saying, look, there's, there's going to be so little going on among the Israelites that you're not even going to hear a dog bark. Nothing, God, nothing is going to touch God's people during this time. Then you will know that the Lord makes a distinction between Egypt and Israel. And God does make a distinction between his people and his enemies. Verse 8, all these officials of yours will come to me bowing down before me and saying, Go, you and all the people who follow you. After that, I will leave. Then Moses, hot with anger, left Pharaoh. The Lord had said to Moses, Pharaoh will refuse to listen to you so that my wonders may be multiplied in Egypt. Moses and Aaron performed all these wonders before Pharaoh, but the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart and he would not let the Israelites go out of his country. So God is telling him, look, the, the officials are going to go to Pharaoh and say, let the people go. They're going to come to Moses and say, please go, please go. Pharaoh's not going to listen. But eventually after all the firstborn die, Pharaoh's going to let them go. And we're going to get into that in the next chapter. The only real lesson from that I want you to see here is you want to be on God's side. 
you can avoid some really catas catastrophic things if you stay on God's side. All right, because you notice on God's side, there's not going to be anything bad happening. And we'll see that as we get more into the text. This is setting it up. This is the preview of what's about to happen. But you got to come back tomorrow. This, Like I said, this little section is going to take a little while. But thank you for watching. Come back tomorrow for the next edition of Take 5.